Particularly on this day of Sri Krishna Janmashtami, uh, I'm remembering the glories of Srila Prabhupada, how he introduced the whole of the world to personality, Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. The whole world now knows his name because of Srila Prabhupada. And uh, then I'm offering my um, my Shonada of Pushpanjali to the Lord's feet of my beloved Sikhs from the days. Nitilila Pravishna Vishnupa. Asto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sri Dharan Goswami Maharaj and Nitalila Pravishna Om Vishnu Pad Asto Tarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaj and these are two great personalities continued to explain all of the great Tattva Siddhanta. The conclusive truths of our deep Rupa Ruga Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta. So on this Krishna Janmashtami day, we're remembering our beloved Sri Guru Dev, Sri Bhakti Nantanaya Maharaj especially, who every year would celebrate Krishna Janmashtami in the Holy Town. And at the same time, we are feeling so much uh, separation mood from him, understanding that he has given us a great treasure while he was present. Now it is time for us to so I'm also offering my limited Dandavat pronouns to the Lotus Feet of all my Rupa Ruga Ruga. And then I'm offering my Dandavat pronouns to all the auspicious souls present this evening here. All the Vaishnavas, the Vaishnavis. And also the friends and the guests here. Yeah, yeah, Anyone that can come to such a celebration on Krishna Janmashtami Day, they are most fortunate. So. Very fortunate. So, today on this day, all throughout India, and actually all throughout the world, devotees are celebrating the appearance day, the Abhirbha, the appearance day of the Supreme Personality of Godhead here in this material world. If Sri Krishna would not have come into this world, 
and actually manifested his eternal form, his beautiful, sweet, eternal form, and his transcendental pastimes. No ugly conditioned souls would be able to know him at all. 咁如果基督教嘅平和對咧，係展現佢呢個咁樣嘅超然嘅奇妙形象啦，同埋佢無盡呢個奇妙之妙時光嘅時候咧，咁呢啲神路捆綁嘅時光裏面咧，係唔能夠咧係認識到佢嘅。All the souls in this world are eternal parts and parcels of Sri Krishna。咁呢個世界上所有靈魂咧，全部都係 Krishna 嘅永恆嘅所屬部分嚟嘅。But everyone has become Krishna Bhagirat Mukha. They have turned their face away from Sri Krishna. 但係每個人都都變咗咧，係掉面啦，唔去即係唔去望 Krishna 啦。我哋忘記咗我哋同 Krishna 嘅永恆嘅關係。所以 Krishna 係一個海洋一樣嘅係恩賜嚟㗎。佢想要將所有嘅靈魂帶到佢嘅海洋，使佢哋可以享受喺佢嘅海洋。咁所以佢想咧係將所有嘅係啊調向靈咧係帶到佢呢個咁樣嘅蓮花竹嗰處咧，同埋咧係享受咧永恆嘅逍遙時光嘅。That is why Sri Krishna comes into this world。所以點解 Krishna 佢係到嚟呢個物質世界嗰度 ？Actually, he has many reasons for coming。咁事實上咧，佢有好多眾多咁多原因係到嚟嘅。Because he is Rasika Shekar Krishna。佢叫做咧係即係 Rasika Shekar， 佢品嚐所有嘅拿沙嘅。Topmost taster of all transcendental knowledge of Rasa. 佢咧係係係即係呢個係超然情懷最高嘅品嚐者嚟㗎。He is enjoying and tasting this nectar of Prem Ras eternally. 佢永恆地咧嚟到。He's in the spiritual world. 咁佢永恆地嚟睇品嚐到咧呢種 Prem 呢種純愛嘅情願嘅嚇。But the conditioned souls in this world know nothing about this. 但係咧喺呢個世界嘅調向靈魂咧，佢哋對啲係一無所知嘅。Therefore, they are captured by the illusory energy of Maya, and they are trying to taste the perverted rus of this material world. 因為咁樣嘅緣故咧，佢哋俾假象咧嚟到去去即係啊，即係捕捉住啦。咁佢哋嘗試咧去品嚐咧呢一個世界咧呢啲咁樣嘅係歪曲咗嘅情懷。So, out of His causeless mercy, the Supreme Lord, who is supremely independent, He desires to manifest His pastimes, to advertise for all the conditioned souls, to find out about Him. 咁出於佢自己無形嘅恩慈咧，呢位咧係完全獨立嘅至尊主咧，佢到嚟呢個世界嗰處咧，佢公告俾眾人知道啦嚇，講到咧，佢喺呢個靈性世界永恆嘅逍遙時光係點樣 ？Therefore, He descends down. From the transcendental, eternal spiritual world, and he manifests his dam, his abode, his pastimes, his associates, everything he manifests in exact replica of the spiritual world. 因此咧，佢將呢個咁樣嘅靈性世界嘅呢個話個超然嘅呢個版本啊，帶到嚟呢個世界嗰處咧，展現咗佢呢個超然嘅形象啊，啲逍遙時光啊等等。And he manifests his eternal form. Like a human being in this world, who takes birth from the womb of mother and manifests uh, the form of a tiny baby and grows through different ages. 咁佢咧嚟到呢個世上嘅時候咧，佢展示咗呢個咁樣嘅，好似仿似人咁樣嘅逍遙時光啦。咁佢咧有個媽媽咧，從媽媽母親出生嗰時咧，然之後一路咁樣成長咁等等。Therefore, he manifests such a variety of sweet pastimes. He does. 因此咧，佢展示咗咧，誒好多好多無窮無盡嘅呢啲咁嘅逍遙時光，有三個唔同嘅年齡嘅階段嘅。第一個就係呢個係 B B 嘅時候啦。巴利亞尼娜，巴利亞尼娜。Now we tonight we will have a chance to see little Bal Gopal Krishna. 今日咧，我哋有機會咧見到咧呢個咧 B B 仔嘅 Krishna 嘅形象。Because everyone is very attracted to little babies. 原來咧，每個人都好俾呢個 B B 仔吸引嘅。I watch this as I'm traveling. 我四處周周遊列國嘅時候咧，我都留意到呢樣嘢。All people, mothers, they are always, always absorbed in their little babies. 媽媽經常咧都好留意、好關注咧佢哋 B B 仔。They try to taste this rasa. 佢哋嘗試去品嚐呢種咁樣嘅情懷。Another condition, so. 同另一個咧受捆綁嘅條件嚟講，品嚐。
that that rasa, the original rasa, which everyone wants to taste, is actually with Sri Krishna. So if you take the cuteness, the attractiveness of little babies of this world, and you multiply that times millions of times, how sweet, how beautiful, how attractive is Sri Krishna when he's a little baby? So he gives everyone the opportunity to develop their affection how sweet is his form as he grows from babyhood childhood into his youth and becomes a young boy playing very uh, energetically with his friends, Galvar friends. And at the same time, his very beautiful Brother Gopis, they are also growing along with him. Ages. And in their hearts, they are the attraction to Krishna. And in their hearts, they are the attraction to Krishna. And in their hearts, they are the attraction to Krishna. And in their hearts, they are the attachment to Krishna which is actually eternally in their hearts. But Purvarad means before actual meeting together. They're growing up with Sri Krishna and they're seeing him and becoming more and more attractive. And then Sri Krishna blossoms into his full blooming youth, his Kaishwara Lila. Then he manifests the topmost Lila's in past times. Especially his Maha Lila. Maha Lila is his Ras Lila past times. There is no other Lila's as powerful to attract the hearts of the conditioned souls as this Therefore, Sri Shukadeva Goswami is told benefits of hearing these pastimes of Sri Krishna. And particularly of this Ras Lila pastime. Rajabir idam cha vishno shradhan vitam anushinu yad atabarana yad ya bhaktim param bhagavati pradilabhya kama pridroga ashu pahnod tacharena dhira. So, Shukadeva Goswami is told that if anyone hears these beautiful sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna goes on to say, if anyone hears these beautiful sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna, he can play the Sri Krishna. He can play the Sri Krishna. How he is playing his sports, his leelas, pastimes, with the Rajavadus. If anyone hears this, and they also describe, they hear it from the bona fide disciplic succession of Rasik Vaishnavas. And they hear with great faith. Like the human pastimes. But they are millions of times more special, more pure, 
and more filled with ecstasy. 但係呢啲消息時光咧係即係比起一普通世俗嘅消息時光咧係更加嘅純粹啦，更加嘅咧係吸引啦，同埋更加咧係有呢個狂喜極樂嘅。And the power of those pastimes. 而啲消息時光嘅大能之處咧 ，all of the heart disease of the conditioned soul, the yoga, that they are always attracted and attached to the illusory objects of this world. 咁呢個呢啲條例唔係一個心嘅病叫 rip rogam 咧，就係話佢哋經常咧都係咧好依附住咧呢個世間上咧呢啲咁樣嘅係世俗嘅係啊，即係嘅物質嘅對象嘅。咁呢個係佢哋心嘅心嘅病患嚟嘅。So the effect will be, oh, very quickly, bhakti will come into the heart by hearing these pastimes, and then this disease of the heart will be destroyed. 咁佢哋聆聽嘅結果係點咧？就係話咧，咁佢嗰啲呢個啊，奉愛咧，不斷好快要入到佢內心裏邊咧，之後啲所有嘅心裏邊咧，所有要不得嘅衣服咧，全部咧都會可以除嘅。So Shri Gurudev has commented very extensively on this power of this Rasalila as time of Shri Krishna. 咁 Shri Gurudev 咧係對 Shri Krishna 呢啲咁樣嘅係啊，南沙之母師父時光咧，做咗極之長盡嘅一個嘅評述嘅。And all of Shri Krishna's pastimes from his childhood. Into his boyhood and youth, they culminate in this highest of all pastimes. 咁 Krishna 所有嘅需要時光啦，從佢即係啊 B B 仔嘅時候，一路到童年啦，然之後去到咧少年青年嘅時候咧，嗰個嘅巔峯咧就係在於咧一個拿沙之母噶啦。And this has the power to bestow the ability for the conditioned souls to become attracted to exchanging rust with Sri Krishna. 咁呢啲需要時光咧，有咗咁嘅能力咧，俾到呢個受調行嘅靈魂咧，佢哋有啲咁嘅能力同 Krishna 咧，去交流呢啲咁嘅靈性嘅超然嘅情懷嘅。Because part of us will come， 因為因為從呢個時候咧，呢個咁嘅超然嘅同愛 part of us 將會到嚟嘅。Ordinary bhakti， 呢啲並非普通嘅同愛嚟嘅。Your shuddha bhakti will come in the heart， 係純粹嘅 shuddha bhakti 就會到嚟內心裏面。All the illusions of Maya will be dispelled. 然之後所有假象啊，呢啲咁樣嘅係啊，國面咧就一全部被驅除嘅。Mundane lust of this world to always enjoy my senses with the objects of this world. 咁同時可以驅除到咧呢一個咁嘅世俗嘅咁嘅色慾，就係話咧呢世俗色慾只係話咧經常所享受咧世間上啲感官嘅對象。It will be completely removed from my heart. 將會係從內心嘅從此咧永永恆咁咧咁嚟咧係自取㗎。In its place will be bestowed this gem, this jewel of rati, strong love and affection for Sri Krishna. 然之後個心裏邊咧，取而代之就係話咧，會貫注咗呢一種係對 Krishna 好堅好強烈嘅呢咁樣愛同埋依附 rati. So this Shrimad Bhagavatam, this great literature by Shri Vyasa Dev, it is the highest. Of all Vedic knowledge, because it is presenting the complete life of Sri Krishna when he came into this world. 咁所以成為阿薩所呈現嘅聖典佛教阿譚咧，係所有偉大文文獻裏邊嚟講係至高無上，因為當中嚟講咧，佢包含咗咧整個聖語 Krishna 佢哋所上演嘅思維時光都喺呢個佛教阿譚當中嘅。The entire twelve cantos of Shrimad Bhagavatam, this is the treasure. In the palace of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, this tenth canto. 咁所以佛家嘅談咁嘅十二篇咧，喺呢十二篇裏邊嚟講咧，呢個好似比喻一個皇宮咁樣，而喺呢個皇宮裏邊咧嘅寶藏咧，就係啊隱藏咗喺呢一個咁樣嘅第十篇嗰度噶。And in that palace of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, oh, there is one special, very special room, and that special room is the place where the five chapters of Rasalila are. 佛教堂呢個皇宮裏邊嚟講，一個好特別嘅房間，呢個房間咧裏邊咧就係咧係描述咗咧聖主 Krishna 咧呢五章嘅呢啲咁樣嘅叫做咧係啊拿沙之母之要時光嘅。Without this, Shrimad Bhagavatam, Shri Gurudev says, it is nothing special. 如果冇咗呢五章嘅時候咧，我哋明知無知書裏邊咧講到咧呢個佛教堂咧並無特別之處嘅。So we should understand that.、Uh, The opportunity on this day, this glorious day of Sri Krishna's advent in this world, is an opportunity to fix our mind and our heart on Sri Krishna. 咁所以我哋應該明白到，今天呢日對你嚟講咧，係俾我哋一個特別嘅機會啦，將我哋嘅心願同埋內心咧，係專注喺 Krishna 嗰度。But to worship him, his beautiful form. 同埋
so all of the nine cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam before the tenth canto, they are describing all the different incarnations of avatars of Sri but before uh, Sutta Goswami uh, speaks uh, about all the different incarnations in these other cantos, he makes very clear that Sri Krishna he is not just one of these incarnations. He says that all these other incarnations and expansions, they are amshas and kalas. Amsha means part and Kala means part of part. So they are all expansions of the original Bhagavan. They are all Bhagavan because there is only one Supreme Bhagavan. All of these forms appear uh, for various purposes. But when he describes in the very beginning of Shri Bhagavatam the form of Sri Krishna and his appearance in this world, he very much specifies this is different. He says, Ete Chamsikala Purusas, Krishna's too, Bhagavan Swami. All these other incarnations are parts and parcels of Sri Krishna, but Krishna, he is Bhagavan Swayam. That means he is the supreme origin, the original form of Bhagavan from whom all the other incarnations come. That's why this term Sri Prabhupada utilized, our Acharyas utilized. English language, uh, this term, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because I used to wonder when I first encountered this, uh, this term and this philosophy, what is Godhead? But Godhead means that there are many, many unlimited forms of that Supreme Being. And they're all non different than Himself. This is Krishna's forms are inconceivable. His qualities, everything. But they can only be understood by pure devotees. Those pure devotees, they can see Krishna's original form. And how do they see? Because they have praying. Yeah. And their eyes are covered with praying. Just like you can put a particular Ayurvedic 
some kind of ointment on your eyes. It makes your eyesight very good. This is called Anjana. So Prem Anjana means that you have this ointment of Prem on your eyes. So Prem Anjana, there are the illusions, so you more go your hand on your eyes. This is an analogy. Actually, you are not seeing with these material eyes. You see with the eyes of the eyes. You have pure love for Krishna. You have pure love for Krishna. So, Premanjana Churita, Bhakti Vilocha, Nena Bhakti Vilocha, Nena Bhakti Vilocha, So, Premanjana Churita, Bhakti Vilocha, Nena Santak Sadaiva Hridayeshu, Vilokayanti, Yam Shyam Sundaram, Achintya Guna Swarupam, Govindam Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Govindam Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. This is the prayer of Brahma Ji, our Adi Guru. We are the Adi Guru. We are the 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 Guru. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. His eternal form. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. But very sweet and very attractive. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. He said that the Shri Krishna is the form of Shri Krishna. And inconceivable. Qualities and beautiful form. And then there is also a very beautiful form. And then there is also a very beautiful form. So by hearing about Krishna, through listening to Krishna, through listening to Krishna, some of the Rasik Vaishnavas who relish and taste his beauty, from that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From that there is also a very beautiful form. From Puman virajyeta vina pashugnat. In the beginning of 10th canto, Maharaj Pariksit is telling to Shukadeva Goswami. Then you can see that when you look at this world, there is no one who is in this world. When you look at this world, you can see that Shukadeva Goswami and the Bali Sri Lanka are talking about it. He is saying that I am relishing so much hearing from you, this transcendental river of nectar from your lotus mouth. Then Bali Sri Lanka and Shukadeva Goswami are talking about it. I am listening to you from the sea of the gum lotus. I am listening to you from the sea of the gum lotus. Because you are a transcendental personality, you have no connection with the mundane illusion of this world. That means the uh, medicine, aushadi, the medicine that will destroy this bhava, bhava rog. The material disease of birth and death in this world. Then this ocean, this is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the body to die. This is the drug that can cause the of the Uttama Shloka, that means Krishna, who is glorified by the highest type of transcendental poetry. So, Ka Uttama Shloka, Gunanu Vadat, Kuman Virajeta Vinam Pushokat. Oh, everyone will uh, appreciate this. Everyone except for those who are Pushubnat. They are the killers of their own soul. That means that they are not interested because their soul has not become attracted to the transcendental reality. So then, Shukadeva Goswami, uh, he uh, listens to Maharaj Pariksit's questions in the beginning of the 10th canto. And because at the end of the 9th canto, uh, Shukadeva Goswami had given 
some preliminary information about Sri Krishna's life. So now Maharaj predicted he wanted to hear directly about Sri Krishna. He was wondering that Sri Balaram, he is the son of Rohini Devi. But he wanted to understand why and how Balaram was first in the womb of Devaki and then he was transferred to the womb of Rohini. This was mysterious. So he wanted to understand this. He wanted to understand why did Krishna uh, leave the house of his father, Vasudev, right after his birth and transfer him to the house of Nanda Maharaj in Vrindavan. Then he wanted to hear, oh, where did the Lord, the master of the Yadu dynasty, uh, where did he live? with his relatives in Vrindavan. So many places he lived in that area. So Maharaj Bhrikshu wants to know all detail. And he lived both in Vrindavan and Mathura. So what did he do there? And why did he kill Kamsa, his mother's brother? Because such killing of your mother's brother, this is not sanctioned in the Shastras. And Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, Bhagavan, he has no material body, yet he appears as a human being. So how many years did he live with all the descendants of the Vishnu dynasty? And how many wives did he marry? For how many years did he live in Dwarka? Oh great sage, O Sugadev, you know everything about Krishna. So please describe in detail all the activities that I have inquired about. And also those which I have not inquired about. Because I have full faith huh? and I want to hear, I'm very eager to hear. I've taken a vow, huh? given up even drinking water. Because now, in so many days, I will die. Uh, but even though I'm not drinking any water, I'm drinking the nectar of all these topics of Lord Krishna. So, this hunger and thirst, which is difficult to bear, I can easily tolerate. So then, Sri Sukadeva Goswami, he heard these glorious questions of Maharaj Pariksit. And then, Pratyacharya Krishna Charitam, Kali Kalmasha Gnam, Yahartam Arabhata Bhagavata Pradhana. Then he began to discourse 
on the topics of Krishna. Which are the remedy for all suffering in this age of coming. So in this way, the tenth canto begins, and the topic of Sri Krishna's birth is the first subject matter in the tenth canto. Of course, there are many details and so many histories to describe. But this celebration that we are doing tonight, this is reminiscing. Uh, this is the remembering Sri Krishna's appearance at midnight. In the prison house of Kamsa. And how he was also appearing at the same time in the house of Nanda Maharaj in So this transcendental topic uh, is the subject matter of Janmastami, Sri Krishna Janmastami, how he took his birth in this world. Even though he is unborn, he is never born. Krishna is called Adja. No birth. He is eternally existing. But he appears to take his birth. And by his Yogamaya potency, all of his eternal associates, they witness his birth. And it is fully confirmed that he came directly from the womb of Mother Yashoda. But yet the narration begins in Mathura, in the, the prison house of Kamsa. So how this pastime unfolds, uh, and what are the deep significance of this pastime? many times has described the words of our great acharyas like Vishwanath Chakravarta Thakur. that all the Vaishnavas can know uh, the deep mysteries of the and this will purify our hearts. Give us this attraction to the lotus feet of Krishna. That very easily we will be able to transcend this material world. So I'm requesting our sannyasi my Samyasi brothers who are present here to also uh, speak about his uh, Krishna Janmashtami, pastimes of Lord Krishna's appearance day. Discourse on the subject. Om Vishnu Padaya Gora Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Sri Madhu Bhakti Pragan Kesha Dinamine Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanamine Vancha Kalpa Trubis Cha Kripa Sindhu Vedacha Patitanam Pavnevyo Vaishnavya namo namaha Vrindayai tulsi vai Vrayai kesivasacha Krishna bhakti pradhidevi Satvachai namo namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Udhityananda Shri Advaita Gadadva Shri Vasadi Shri Gaur Bhakta Vrinda 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So I would also like, first of all, to offer my most respectful and humble Dandaka Pranams into the dust of the lotus seat of my most holy spiritual master, Nitalita Pravishta Om Ashtata Shri Sri Jiva Bhakti Vrinta Narayan Dasha. And until the most street of our most wonderful and glorious Guru Prampara, and to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis that are present here this evening, headed by uh, our glorious sannyasis that are here, that I'm very grateful I have an opportunity to speak. Pujapad Bhakti Ranta Nama Maharaj, Pujapad Bhakti Ranta Muni Maharaj. So it's very special. Wonderful occasion we get to be welcome at once. Come on, hold up. Hold up, please. You can begin. Ah, sure. No, okay, we're not going to do that. Let's just take it. All of the great day of just disciples and followers are like facets, great jewel. When we get to see so many of them, the jewel becomes more understood. So, when we see the great jewel, it's like a facet. When we see the great jewel, it's like a facet. When we see the great jewel, it's like a facet. Few, few words and many things, are, but I can just remember even a fraction of what the earth was very negative, much less repeated. He mentioned uh, how Shri Prabhupada went all over the world telling everyone that Krishna is the supreme person. He introduced Krishna to the whole world. He just speaking to one lady who came here last evening, as Pavan Maharaj was wrong, right? Who's it? Pavan Maharaj. 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 I also did a Christian message, so I knew a little bit about Christian. I was in prison, I was in jail, I was in jail, so I was in jail. And we were talking about how the Bible says the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart and mind and soul and strength. This is Yoga. To make a connection, to realize our eternal connection with the Supreme Lord. Our heart and mind and soul strength. Very difficult to do that. Don't know who he is. Who is God? How do you love anyone? With your heart and mind and soul strength. Come to me. You don't know much about them. If you love this person, you don't know much about them. It's a wonderful thing that Shiva Prabhupada in introducing Krishna to the world to say, Oh, this is God. Oh, now, now I know who God is. I know what he's like, what he does, what he eats, what his friends are. And he's a kid. He's an old male on the ceiling of a sixty chapel. With his dying breath, giving everything to Adam. So he's a very special person. 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 Prabhupada introduced. Then 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 Prabh
，邊你再睇下不識佢？然之後所以咧，我哋盡量。我想最最後嚟講，我盡量盡量想知道多啲關於佢係點樣嘅。So, so Prabhupada introduced Krishna to the whole world as that supreme Lord, the supreme personality of Godhead. Prabhupada Kama Maharaj so wonderfully explained very concisely. 咁咧就 Prabhupada 向呢個咁樣嘅係啊，全世界解釋到啦，必須點樣至尊人格守神嘅。剛才老師都巴巴巴巴佢所講到。Now, Lord. With my Nam Guru, Diksha Guru, Sanyas Guru, everything,、uh, he travelled all around the world. Also, 咁我嘅靈性導師啦，即係俾我聖靈嘅啟迪啊，俾我咧係啊，第二次啟迪啊，俾我神啊，時啟迪咁嘅靈性導師咧，佢亦都係周遊列國嘅。And spoke about Krishna. 亦都係去講到關於 Krishna 嘅。But he said funny thing. 但係佢講好有趣嘅一樣嘢喎。Funny statement, but very deep. 咁其實好有趣嘅一句一句説話，但係咧，當中含有咧，嚇好有深意嘅。He said, "Oh, so Prabhupada traveled around the world to tell everyone that Krishna is the supreme person of Godhead, but I'm traveling around the world to tell you that he's not." 咁佢話咧，翻翻咧，即係由你講咧，講邊人知 Krishna 自己而家手上，但係咧，我即係由你講咧，就係講邊人知 Krishna 佢唔係嚟嘅。佢唔係。And Prabhupada actually told our good day to travel all over the world. 咁事實。事實原來先前咧，舊時巴布巴真係叫我哋嘅靈性老師咧，要即係由呢個咁嘅傳教喎。咁我哋靈性老師又講俾人知，佢話 Krishna 就唔係至尊人格守神嚟㗎。呢句説話其實點解咧？咁明白呢樣嘢嚟講咧，當中嚟講有好重大嘅意義要意引到嘅。Even just a little understanding of this conception goes a long way to free the heart from the material condition. 咁咧，就算如果你對呢個世界有少少好初步瞭解都好啦，都能夠使到你個心咧擺脱咗咧好咗物質上嘅捆綁、物質上嘅條件嘅限制。其實自己本身喺聖典國家凡嗰度咁樣提到啦，佢話如果有任何人能夠明白到喺呢個世上超越嘅出生同埋佢需要時光嘅話咧，咁呢個時候唔再需要喺呢個世上去出世投胎嘅。That's a pretty good motivation to try to understand something about it. 另外咧，即係話嘗試去啊明白呢啲嚟講咧，呢個一個非常之好嘅動機，因為唔想就出生咧，就係。So it hints that a two ways of seeing. 換言之咧，咁樣係俾到你少少提示，就係話原來你點樣去睇主咧，係有兩個方式去睇嘅。Krishna is simultaneously the supreme person of Godhead and not the supreme. 換言之 ，Krishna 係同一個時候咧，佢既係至尊人格守神咧，亦都唔係至尊人格守神啊。And one of the most astonishing and beautiful ways to have a little appreciation of this inconceivable tattva teaching is in Krishna's appearance and and birth in this world. 咁咧，而喺呢個呢個咁不可思議嘅呢種嘅真理當中嚟講咧，就亦都係包含咗，特別係喺 Krishna 咧，佢喺呢個世上顯現於思慾時光裏邊。Krishna appears. In that prison cell, in Mathura, in the womb of Devaki, Krishna 咧顯現咧喺呢一個咁樣馬杜拉咧喺個監獄裏邊啦，喺呢個母親媽啲 Devaki 嘅懷中嗰時顯現嘅。Now, when he came from her womb, he didn't appear as a baby. 而當佢從佢懷中出現嘅時候咧，顯現嘅時候咧，佢並唔係一個 baby 嘅形象嘅。But rather as the supreme lord, like Vishnu. Four arms, very tall, like sixteen-year-old. Come looking at ornaments on and jewels and from head to toe. Come, he could look young, young, like that. Four arms. Yes, he is four arms. Young, like that. Already, he is a man, fifteen years old, like that. Come, there is in his body, there are all kinds of jewels, all kinds of jewels, all kinds of jewels. 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 咁我哋叫呢個就叫出世，我哋叫顯現啊 ，appearance 顯現。唔係一個出世喎，又顯現 baby。啊，講到出世嚟講，就係 BB 嘅形象。He appears。佢顯現為呢個四臂形象啊。Because Vasudev and Devaki, they had a particular the desire to realize and express their love of God. 因為咧，佢嘅父母啊，地瓜叫同埋瓜書地咧，佢哋有個好特別嘅慾望啊，去降咧，佢哋對神嗰種愛，佢哋本身對神嘅愛係點樣嘅 ？With great one reverence, they worship the supreme lord。原來先前咧，佢哋懷著極大嘅敬意咧，嚟到曾經崇拜嘅至尊主。And they expressed their desire to him that they wanted a son like him。咁佢哋向主咧係咁樣去去神咁樣表達佢哋嘅慾望，佢話咧，我想好似一個要一個兒子，嚟一個兒子好似你咁樣嘅。
And so when the Lord appeared with four arms like this from the womb of Dedeke in a prison cell, they immediately began offering prayers to him. 而當天主在監牀裏面,這個四個形象,顯現的時候,他父母立即向他獻上討問。And then only after some time did they start to think of, in a parental way that, oh, he has form like this with four arms and weapons, but he's just a young boy. If King Kamsa, who put us in prison, sees him like this, he will hurt him or even kill him. 然後你知道過了一段時間之後,你先知道父母的心碎先到你覺得,雖然佢有這個四邊形象,但是如果Kamsa呢,即係曾經將我置於考慮那個監獄裏面,見到佢的形象時候呢,可能會傷害佢的,
然之後咧就係、是、嗰個時候咧呢、這個咁樣嘅誒面上面上 B B 仔咧就用要同呢個啊啊唔係啲嘢出嚟三個 B B 係合一嘅，咁剛才呢個呢個合一就係啊啱啱啱啱所講嘅至尊人嘅手神嚟嘅。So this is the wonderful thing I just want to mention briefly. 我只係想簡單咁提到呢個就係佢神嘅之處。Why did the Lord appear as Vishnu with four arms to dedicate as a baby to Mother Yashoda? 點解就係話咧？啊，至尊主佢係向佢默日日地瓦傑展係四臂形象，而向日蘇達咧展現出嚟嘅係一個 B B 形象咧。Why God in Mathura and an ordinary human baby in Goku？ 咁點解神啊喺馬杜拉啊，佢哋至尊係係係至尊主咧，而喺古古嘅地方度寫個 B B 仔咧 ？I remember they became us today. They desire to have the Lord as their son. 我哋剛才講過啦，地瓜傑同瓜書啲咧，佢哋有慾望就係話咧，想神咧係做佢哋嘅仔嘅。Well, Mother Yashoda and Nanamur, they have so much love for the Lord, they don't even see Him as God. 咁媽啲嘢，蘇達同埋嗰啲馬哈拉，佢哋神就咁大嘅喎，佢哋甚至乎唔會將佢哋仔咧睇作為係神嚟嘅。They just felt, oh, we want to be mother and father to you. 佢哋嘅感覺就係話咧，我只係想咧做你嘅父母。You will be our son. 你會做我哋嘅仔。And without the conception of God. 完全冇呢個咁樣嘅神嘅概念。More, they were focused on their loving mood, the parental mood. 佢哋更加集中專注就係話咧，呢種咁樣嘅父母嘅咁嘅心水。And this Krishna wants to taste the sweetness of that parental mood. 而呢個就係 Krishna 嘅想去品嚐呢種咁嘅父母嘅情懷嘅甜味。Because he desires a love that is so great that it bewilders him that he can forget that he's God. 因為你 just be absorbed in love and affection of his most intimate. 咁咧，佢咧就因為佢曾經慾望過咧，就係話咧，佢想因愛咧令到佢感動到咧，佢完全忘記咗自己係神咧，而佢與此同時咧，佢亦都能夠只係去品嚐咧，同佢啲奉獻者嗰啲咁樣咁咁親密嘅愛。So Krishna didn't have to appear with four arms. 因為咁嘅緣故 ，Krishna 唔需要用四臂形象顯現。No sense at all. This is God being born. 咁咧喺呢處咧，話神要出世，完全係冇意思嘅。No heavenly voices like there were in Mathura. 同馬杜拉嗰度唔同，馬杜拉咧曾經有啲咁嘅天上傳來嘅咁樣嘅聲音啊，預預告啊，即係好簡單，乜啲蘇達咧就係咁樣啦，生咗佢出嚟。因為喺邊單份一切都係俾甜美所控制嘅。No one reverence， 並冇恭敬啊。Only because of love and affection。Krishna is reciprocating and revealing all his sins. 只係出於神，只係出於愛同埋感情咧，嚟到揭示咧佢變單份所有嘅私有私光嘅。Whereas outside, everything is going on by all unrest. 但係喺變單份之外嘅其他地方，一切全部嘅之所以發生咧，係出於呢個咁樣嘅啊戰戰兢兢又恭敬嘅心水而去發生嘅。Oh Lord, show us your majesty. 哦主啊，向我哋展示你哋莊嚴嘅一面啦。Yeah, this is also love. Yeah, 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 this is also love. I've known very extremely wealthy persons or famous persons, and and every single one I've known has the same dilemma. No one understands me. Cảm ơn chị cái việc tôi chẳng nghĩ đâu khi vì lẽ hay sẽ có hậu tố hậu tố chứ hậu phụ bạc ở phong hiện là tại vì tôi hiện chỉ kêu là cái cái trình thời gian là tiêu chuẩn này hoặc là tôi chẳng nghĩ có được chỉ cái đó bất bị nhận thì so với điều cai rồi. Cảm ơn Krishna cũng hay cái đó. Full potential and sweet intimacy. Ah, cái đó hay so với cái cái cái想去品嚐到完全嘅親密同埋甜美嘅一面。Then to hear the pastimes is wonderful. Krishna pastimes because this is that personality who wants that sweet loving exchanges. 咁咧，我哋所描述緊啲咩人物就係咧，佢想最最想你去品嚐啲最甜美嘅愛情。One nice stuff. 喺度停咗落嚟啦。Bringing in the horses. Don't get carried away. 唔要操控自己嘅毛病，你唔好著得太。Because we are very fortunate that we also have the association of Pujabas Bhakti and Muni Maharaj. If you have another issue, Pujabas Bhakti and Muni Maharaj, can you please excuse me? I'm going to have to help prepare for the Arjuna Day, which is coming soon. We have a meeting with the Muni Maharaj. We have a meeting with the Muni Maharaj. Thank you, Pujabas Bhakti and Muni Maharaj, for giving me a chance to sing. Thank you, Pujabas Bhakti and Muni Maharaj.
So we had a very nice kind of synopsis what by how Sri Krishna took birth in both places simultaneously. And some of the tattva, some of the reasons why he appeared in both places simultaneously. There are so many more mysteries regarding his pastime. And also, why was Krishna's mother and father in a prison house? The whole Srimad Bhagavatam begins with explaining that the earth planet at that time had so many very powerful demoniac military forces. And the demigoddess of the earth planet, Umi, she was overburdened by all these heavy, heavy uh, military forces. They were very demoniac, but also very powerful. The chief amongst all those powerful demoniac uh, leaders was King Kamsa. So although he was in the same dynasty as Sri Krishna was going to appear, but he was not uh, a 